Hello everyone, Pastor Kevin Rollins here, pastor of Providence Friends Church. And today I want to give you a word of encouragement and a word of hope. Uh, today that's something that we certainly need is encouragement and hope. And with everything that's going on now with the coronavirus and everything being shut down and so many different things about the unknown, uh, we certainly need some encouragement during these tough days. Now as Christians uh, throughout our history, ever since uh, Christ came and died on the cross for us and uh, sent out his disciples into the world, for the last 2,000 years, we faced trials and tribulations, uh, as well as the rest of humanity. But the difference is, is that when Christians face trials and tribulations, we come out of it a little bit different. Uh, we tend to give a word of hope as we're going through trials and tribulations. And it tends to give encouragement to the rest of the world, especially those who are unchurched. And so that's what I want to say today, and that's what I want to give a message of today, is a word of encouragement and a word of hope. Now, in the, in the uh, book of Romans, chapter 5, Paul says this. He says, Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him we have also obtained access by faith into this grace in which we stand. And we rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Not only that, but we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance. And endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. And so certainly when Paul was writing this, it was certainly a time of trials and tribulations, and also sufferings. But Paul said rejoice during this time, rejoice in our sufferings. And as we rejoice in our sufferings, this gives hope to our people, to God's people. Now there's a two-part uh, two thing here, uh, talking about our people, God's people, and also the world. So as we go through this, uh, very briefly, he said we are to rejoice in our sufferings. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Christians are no strangers to suffering all throughout the ages we've had to endure suffer, sufferings and different trials and tribulations that the rest of the world has also had to endure but what i'm seeing now and has been an example all throughout christianity's history is that when we face trials and tribulations we do come out of it a little bit differently we rejoice in these sufferings because we have hope in the glory of god and that's exactly what paul's talking about here and that's exactly what he's preaching to these romans now, one of the things that we look at and the thing that I'm encouraged by is during this time of trial and tribulation that we see right now, right here in this country, uh, it's happening all over the world, but as we see it right now in our country, uh, there's a lot of different things going on. There's churches that are shut down, uh, and they're having to do things differently. And I think this takes us out of our comfort zone, and it makes us do things a little bit differently. It makes us lean on our faith a little bit more. So what I see is that we are the church right now in this country. We're rejoicing through this suffering because we see uh, videos like this that are going out. Uh, and I'm thankful that the YMCA is doing this, these uh, devotionals throughout the week to give encouragement to you. So shout out to the YMCA for doing this. But what we see is the churches, they're doing uh, live videos uh, like this one, or they're uh, putting on YouTube pages or doing other sorts of uh, video mediums or doing drive-in churches like my church is doing. And so we're, we're seeing all of these different things. We're coming out of our comfort zones and we're doing something so that we can worship with each other and, and also reach people that we haven't been reaching before. And so that is an encouragement that's coming out of the suffering. And so this, we rejoice in the sufferings because we see good things come out of it. Glory to God uh, for that. But also this, he said, knowing that suffering produces endurance. And so right now we're enduring. The church is enduring. We're doing all that we can to preach the gospel, the good news, and to, and to help people. And so the other thing here is that out of this endurance, it produces character. And I think this is really where the church is showing out. God, we're showing up and God's showing out because what we see in this character, in our character, is, is the things that God has blessed us with. All these wonderful gifts that he's given to us, we're using back for his glory. And so we're reaching people that we've never reached before. And glory to God for that. And so with our character, it, it shows 
and gives hope to those that we worship with. It gives them encouragement as they're going through these same trials. And then also it produces hope. And so as Christians, as we go through all of this, we rejoice in these sufferings. We endure. Uh, or we, we show our character uh, that God has given us. It produces hope within our own community of faith believers. Uh, each, each Christian says, hey, I see uh, they're rejoicing. I see what they're doing. And it gives them hope. So out of this... Within our own church body, we see all of these things taking place. But also we see this outside the church. We see a great awakening inside the church, but we're also seeing a great awakening outside the church. And glory to God for that as well, because we see people every day who are suffering, but they're not rejoicing. We see people every day who are not enduring. Uh, the, we don't see a lot of character in some people. And we certainly don't see any hope in a lot of people. So out of this, I see that the church has a great awakening and a great opportunity. Because, because of all these things, because of how the world sees us today, those, especially those who are in church, those who are looking for hope, that's where we come in. And we go out there and we, we give glory to God in spite of all this suffering because we know that there's a hope far beyond what we have here on this earth. And so we go out... And we have rejoicing and suffering and people see that. They see how we endure it and they see our character and they see our hope. And that draws them in because they're certainly looking for that. So there's a great awakening happening in the church and a great awakening happening outside the church. And this is a wonderful opportunity for us pastors and all of you Christians out there who might watch this. This is a great opportunity to shed a little hope and give a little light to those who are not encouraged for those who don't have any hope right now. And so that's what he ends with here. He says in verse five, he says, and hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. And that's where our hope comes from. And that's the encouragement that I want to give you today is that we're always going to face trials. We're always going to face uh, different things in our life. But as Christians, God has given us the Holy Spirit to give us the strength to come through these times to rejoice in sufferings, to endure, to have character, and to produce hope, not just for our sake, but especially for the sake of those who are outside the church who do not know Jesus Christ. So I'm just telling you, church, I'm encouraging you and giving you hope. Use this time wisely. Uh, reach out to your neighbor uh, uh, safely, of course, during this time of social distancing. Uh, encourage them with a phone call, with an email. Uh, a Facebook message, whatever it might be, share a, a, a nice message of hope with them. Whatever you need to do, let them know that there is hope and there's good news in Jesus Christ. And so that's the word of encouragement and hope that I'm going to leave you with today. Thank you for the time and uh, thank you for watching and God bless you. And let's close with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time uh, that we have right now. Lord, I just ask that anyone who sees this might be blessed. Lord, that they might find encouragement, Lord, that they would look to you in these times of trouble, that their faith would be strengthened, Lord, that they would be able to go out to the world and also share that good news of you, Jesus Christ, that you've came and that you've died for us and that you rose again so that we might have life eternal. So, Lord, I just ask uh, that everyone who might watch this would be blessed and, and find a little word of encouragement, Lord, that might take them through the next day. We pray all of this in Jesus Christ's name.